She begged me to do it while she was licking my black eye. I didn't do that. I do not think so. You look like a black eye licker if you catch my drift, Chiaki. Then do it! It's sweet because it's made of black bean paste! Hello, beautiful people. David here with some more Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. Uh, there has been a fire, and Nagito has been looking a little worse for wear, so now we have a ton of other places we need to explore a tour, and we're gonna find everything. She's investigating the warehouse, something I need to ask her about. It's time to talk to her. Yeah? I think, uh, yeah. Sonia, do you have a minute? Yes, what is it? I want to talk to you about when that fake bomb Nagito set off in the warehouse exploded. Huh? Right before it exploded, you said something like this, right? Yeah, she did say that. Which makes me think she had a conversation with Nagito, possibly during the torture, I don't know. Why did you know the bombs were a fake? Uh-huh. Well... That's not all either. When we were looking for the bomb... Why are we at the military base? I thought you were supposed to be searching the Central Island. I'm glad this is coming up now and not in the trial. And when I called for you, you didn't come to the factory right away. Where were you and what were you doing during that time? Wow, Hajime giving her the third degree. I'm about it. Oh my. Yeah, right? She, she's probably never seen the side of Hajime before. It cannot be. Do you, do you su suspect me? As much as I don't want to, my love, like, yeah. It is a misunderstanding. I am not the killer. Proof! I need some facts! I need some facts, princess! Jesus! Shit, you son of a bitch! Oh my! Sonia? I am sorry! I, I'm terribly sorry! I was panicking! You son of a bitch, she called me! Oh man! Oh man, Sonia! Uh... She'll call them down and explain to you why I was at the military base. Yes. We all- we've explored this before, especially because I've been spending a lot of time with Sonya since the beginning of the game. But she's really good at having this facade, and when she's, you know, frazzled, she, she can let it slip. Especially Hajime, she's pretty comfortable with him at this point. When I explored the final island, I discovered a vast amount of bombs there. Huh? Well? First, I was worried someone might use them for nefarious reasons if I announced it to everyone, so I kept silent the whole time. Does that mean when you heard he planted them, you got suspicious and went to investigate them? And as I suspected, they disappeared. I thoroughly searched them from inside the base, but the bombs were nowhere to be found. And because you were searching for them, you were late when we all gathered. Please listen. And because of that, I reached the conclusion. The bombs he brought from the military were from the military base, which means they were fake, huh? How did you find out that they were- yeah. I attempted to use one of them. Wh what? I, see. I, see. I thought one of them would be strong enough to blast open the door to the ancient ruin. Okay. Now that I'm hearing her story, I need to hear the rest of it. Um. At the time, I still believed they were real, and I thought I could use one of them to gain entrance to the ancient ruin. Hmm. Boom. Uh -huh. The bomb was not real. It was merely a fireworks display. Okay. Well, this makes me a lot less suspicious than I was a moment ago. However, she's not out of the woods yet. This is a step in the right direction. God damn it, all to hell. <laughs> See, so that's why you're the only one who knew the bombs at the military base were fake. Uh huh. I did. As did Monami as well. She was also secretly peeking at the bomb. Oh, look at her! Look at that little dick! I see her! Ah! <laughs> Which means... Okay, this is actually a really good step, because if I can- if we can confirm with Monomi that her story checks out, I mean, she may have not done it, which is crazy because she's the most suspicious one right now. But again, there's other suspicious people. Fihiko would be actually really good at doing the torture. So he's also part of my sus list, but time will tell. Those bombs are the same ones that disappeared. It would mean Nagito took them. 
that's why I knew it was a fake. However, I did think it was strange when Nagito- Yeah, he did actually blow it up. Huh. That one was real, and so I could not stop thinking about it. Yeah. But upon further reflection, that might have been his plan all along. Yeah, it's very possible. <laughs> Kazuichi just getting blown away. He showed us a real one to make us believe that the ones he said- Yep. It's classic. In fencing, you do a real attack before you start fainting. I just saw a text on my phone. If so, then his actions were extremely calculated. But the problem is his reason for doing it. With this, I have explained everything. Do you have a minute? There should be no more reason for you to doubt me. You're right, I got it. <laughs> I liked how she got a little fiery there all of a sudden. That, uh... You don't get to see her like that. Okay, Sonia. I want to believe the best in you! Ugh. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't go through another Mukuro Ikasaba slash Junko bit. Uh, you! Looks like the site is completely soaked because of the sprinkler. Even if there was an important clue here, we might not be able to notice it. But it's better than the warehouse burning to the ground. Good thing we were able to put out the fire. But there was a lot of smoke. It's a good thing we didn't go inside when they were th we, th we were throwing the grenades. You are right. I agree. If we did, we would be caught by the sprinklers and become all wet and soggy. I don't think that's the worst of it, Sonia. <laughs> Miss Sonia's all wet. She's all drenched and soggy. Oh, not you too, my guy. <laughs> I bet that's what Kazuichi was thinking. Hey, hey. You were thinking that, huh? Not really, actually. <laughs> For someone who absolutely adores her, I actually wasn't thinking that. I'm still a little too on the fence about suspecting her. Of course not. I wasn't thinking that at all. Why are you responding, Kazuichi? I was asking Hajime. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're screwing with me. Yes. Yes. Oh my, Skrilling, how lewd, you nasty, nasty little high schoolers. <laughs> That's a really good ellipsis. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Please don't look at me with such fearful eyes. I only imagine it for a second. You were so bad. You were so bad at. You were so bad at 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 at, at it. <laughs> Kazuichi, you should probably just keep your mouth shut already. I swear to God, I'm surprised she hasn't killed him. Uh, poor, poor everyone. Alright, Akane, what about you? Um... It mattered for Gundam's killing and for Mikan's. Hey, hey. But it looks like the time does- Oh, right, right, we talked about this. Yes. Like... Huh? No one has an alibi. Yup, 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 yup. Nobody has an alibi, but also... Hmm. Jeez, you're pathetic. Yeah, nobody has an alibi because we were all running around like crazy people. Well, think about the countdown after we live through the class trial. Okay, I must have already talked to them last episode. It's been a few days. What? Stuff on the ground? Alright. A lot of tipped over panels. Panel and you know the curtain is Wait, hold on, why aren't they burned? Oh no fucking Oh my god, okay. Why are they scattered like this? Yeah. Should have been neatly put away. No! <sighs> Maybe we're the ones who made this mess. Did they use that to create a bridge out of the fire? I don't know. Maybe we're the ones who made this mess. Jackie, I'm starting to suspect you a little bit now. Because you're the one who came with me to the warehouse. Also, I mean... No, no, there's no way it could have been Hajime. We play as him. I would love it if the game figured out a way to turn it around and make it like you were the killer, like, somehow. I don't think that works. Look, the tipped over panel by the entrance is really close to the door, right? So maybe the reason these panels are tipped over is... Hmm. She brushed them. Okay, so that was locked. Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe they were stacked up across- But it looks like they're so perfectly placed as like a bridge uh, across where the fire was swept. Then again. But they're not burned, which means 
They could have been placed after the fire? Or maybe while we were all outside for Monokuma's stupid theater. What happened to it? Opening the soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She kicked it open. Could it be? Was it... Was that it? Huh? There's something else I've been wondering. Hey, hey. Starting from the entrance to the back of the warehouse, right? They seem to be lying on top of each other in a straight line. Oh, unless the fire didn't spread this far. It could just be as simple as that. But I don't know. That line is the only one that's neat and orderly. So... Isn't this clearly strange? Yeah, I'm beginning to think it may have been a bridge over the fire and then the tops of them didn't get burned somehow? Because of the sprinklers? Huh. That means we can speculate that this was done intentionally. Okay, that will come in handy later. Because before they were stacked up like this, here. Or, I mean, they were stacked neatly around here. What's this? <gasps> oh, right, the MP3 player. There's a speaker plugged into it. Is it a Zoom? Gosh, shout outs to anyone who remembers what a Zoom is. Why is this here? Maybe. Looks like that weird music was playing mm. from here. You know that music that was blaring on the fire started? Yeah, <laughs> you're right. Looks like it's busted. Looks like it's busted from getting stretched by the sprinklers. There's no mistaking it. That music was playing from that MP3 player. I don't disagree with that, but why was there? Why was the killer playing music for this? From this? Hmm. I wonder. Let's find some clues, but there are many things I don't understand. You look worried. Yeah, I am. At a time like this, it might be good if you brought in your investigation. Are you seriously gonna hold my hand, Chiaki? Y stop! I know where to go next. We gotta go to Nozumi to look at the Spear of Gunnir! Excuse me. So sorry, I had a little something in my throat there. You mean, it's good to investigate other places as well. Y yeah, you know, f Hajime, you're not that dumb. Okay. Yeah, Nozumi Castle. Nagito's room, too. Oh my god, we need to go see his damn file. We need to get there before anybody else does. Pretty sure the others have already finished investigating. Hear me? Hey guys, isn't it about time we leave this place and try exploring other- Okay, great. I was just thinking about proceeding to another area. It seems we have the same idea. But is it safe? There won't be anyone to guard the crime scene. Akane will probably do it. We don't have a choice, there aren't enough of us. Besides, we've investigated all we can here. I guess you're right. Also, it looks like the clues we found aren't enough to place this incident together. So we need to search for them in other areas. Probably. Mm. Well, alternatively, if there are any other clues in other areas, we'd have to give up- If there aren't any clues in other areas, we'd have to give up completely. You don't really need to say that. Hey. Then it's okay if we leave this place- Oh, okay, she's, so she's not sticking around. Alright, so we, we're off. No time for us to stand around. In order to survive, there's no way to do- it. Wait, what? What the hell was that? There's no way except to do it. Okay, to do it. We all just gotta do it. Maybe with each other, maybe by ourselves, but we gotta do it. In order to survive, we need to find La Nagito's killer. If we don't sacrifice that person, nobody can survive. That's our reality. That's why there's no time for us to stand around. Okay, so uh, we got a checklist. We got the plush factory, the military base, Nizumi Castle, and Nagito's room. Okay. Let's go to the truck! Apparently, they were actually fireworks. Looks like it came from the military base, yeah. Because Sonya was rummaging around in that truck, too. Uh, a truck similar to it. Nothing in particular that catches me. Hi, I was just thinking about you. Anything in the basket? <laughs> we just find the killer hiding in there. My. I've never seen so many Monokumas in my life. Well, Monokuma isn't exactly someone you'd normally run into. Uh -huh. However, it was while I was staring at all these Monokumas, a thought occurred to me. Well? The bomb might have been set up here. Oh, the front of the lobby? If you hide them inside a Monokuma plushie, it would make a frightening weapon. It is possible. Do you not think the group that is forcing us to kill each other would devise something like that? Actually... Very possible, because by Nagito's body, there's a Monokuma with a hole in its stomach. 
Which means the bomb might have been removed from that. But why would it come back? Huh. Amazing. A plushy bomb is an attack and is an attack. Oh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> an act of terrorism. All right. Let us rip these apart right away so we can confirm it. Uh, are we really doing that? <laughs> Hold on. If there was something inside these, wouldn't it explode if we carelessly messed with it? Either way, it is all a gravy. Stop being cute. You're a suspect. Stop. All a gravy? What the hell does that mean? Is that not a phrase in Japan? <laughs> Stop. There's no bomb. Jeez. You'll know if you just pick me up, see? All you'll feel is the soft weight of cotton. Hmm, you are right. Then, where did Nagito- Wait, is there not an explosive inside that Monokuma? The one that runs around and talks to us? What the heck, that's supposed to be the whole deal! Like, if someone tries to smack him upside the ass, then he'll be like, You're terrible! We're attacking the headmaster! It's strictly prohibited! And then, oh, no. the, the, the thing that happened uh, uh, the, almost to Mondo. I wonder... If I'm gonna give you guys a hint, then you should know it wasn't from the military base. What? To tell you the truth, the bombs there are all fakes! Please wait. I know that already. You should have said so earlier. I wonder if Nagito went back to the fun house and went back to the octagon room. I thought that if I kept quiet, it would foreshadow that a killing was gonna happen. That's why I'm just now telling you for the first time. Woo! I feel relieved! But if the bomb wasn't from the military base or this factory, then... He brought it from the Octagon. Oh! Where am I at with the big brain? I must say, you have a good eye there, Sonia. Putting a bomb inside one of my plushies seems like a splendid idea. Let's try it! Did I say something I should not have said? Probably, but it's the least of our worries right now. It's not your fault, don't worry about it. Monokuma's account has been- I swear to god, I read that as Monokuma's accountant. <laughs> I tell you, he gets me the best write-offs! Alright, let's go. The break room is on the other side of this door, this is where... blah blah blah... There's nothing on the floor that looks like a clue, not even sure... Seriously? Am I... I am going insane that I am not able to... see inside this room. There's an enormous machine, but it's stopped for now. Like, the fact that Hajime knows what it looks like and I don't is crazy to me. Alright, let's leave. So we got... the factory. I mean, the, the military base next. Last island. Go here. I guess I'm gonna do Nagito's house, uh, Nagito's apartment last, because it's really gonna be the most important and interesting thing. Kazuichi! Damn it, this dangerous place is the reason all this messed up stuff is happening. Leaving guns out in the open is totally dangerous. Seriously, they gotta take better care of these. It's easy to say that, but no one, there's no one in this island that can do that. Yeah, I suppose that's true. This huge supply of guns and other firearms are stuffed into the back of the truck bed. Ah, oh, found it! What'd you find? Well, the truck bed over there has guns in it, but I also found stuff like a survival knife? Wait, that's... The same kind that Nagito got stabbed with. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Maybe. Which means the killer obtained that knife here. All right. So the killer is someone who visited this military base at least once. That's everyone, though. <laughs> nope, not me. This is the first time I've been here. You're quick to say that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sounds fishy. All right. And is he really that dense? All right. Doesn't have anything to do with the incident. Fine. The tank probably doesn't either. The bomb bag is one you're taking. I'm not brave enough to check it myself. I'm sure, Sony would have tried already. When I tried looking through the truck bed. It's empty. When I first came, there, uh, there was something on the truck bed, which means Sony was telling the truth. Yeah. Okay. Good. So, she, so far, she's her story's checking out. Did Nagito know the bomb's real? Never mind. He said as much as in his video. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
Were you surprised? Hey, it's me again! Seriously, think about it. Do you really- Okay, I, I think I've read this already. He knew they were fake. He did that to weed out the traitor. Did he only do that to expose the traitor? He's always got something else up his sleeve. Maybe there was a different motive. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good, actually. There wasn't too much to be discovered here. Aside from confirming... I mean, and I would have guessed that the knight came from here anyway. Or the ox gun, I guess. But still, it doesn't seem that important. But I'm sure it will later. Alright, let's see how this thing is doing. Ugh, gross. You're shitting on the floor, man. The floor, man. Alright, there we go. Alright, where do I go? Jabberwock. Okay, I'm not the hotel site. We do need to go there. But... Uh, Nizumi Castle, that's where it is. No. Oh, come on. <laughs> there we go. Anything else going on in here? I, this place is really suspicious to me. Yeah, yeah, let's go inside. Blah blah blah. Yeah, she has no problem with me going in now. But I also kind of want to confirm. God, she's not even here. Damn it. Also, what does this say? Something for tricks or something? I don't know, whatever. Okay, damn it, I want to talk to Monomi and get that confirmation with Sonya. Bird. Okay. So, uh, let's go to Nizumi Castle, of course, because I want to know more about the spears. Because Monokuma said it looks like it would have came from here. Or Hajime thought that, because Mon Monokuma doesn't know what's behind here. So I wonder if this Monokuma is just designed differently. Oh, there it is! Spear's gone! Yup. Yo. Look at that wall of spears. I guess it's obvious where the weapon came from. Alright. Or is it too obvious? Oh no, that's it! Okay, and so it definitely has that attachment at the end of it. Spear with a flashy ornament. Yeah. Let's see. Just as I thought. It looks exactly like the spear that killed Nagito. The same whip-like cord is attached to the handle, and there's a weight at the end of it. Also. Plus, it also looks like one of the spears on the wall is missing. <laughs> there's no mistake in it. The killer took one of these spears and used it as a weapon. Spear of... Spear of Gunya, huh? Monokuma would totally come up with a name lame like that. I tried. But why did the killer use a spear and a knife? Well, yeah. Oh, that was Hajime, probably. Yeah, they could have just killed him with the knife. And it would have been easier, too. There's no way a spear like this yeah, with the unnecessary cord thing would be easy to use. Yeah, it definitely looks hard to wield. But still, they chose it for a reason. What could that be? I feel a little tired. No! What? There's still more we gotta explore, especially Nagito's house. I mean, yeah, his room. No matter how much I investigate, I don't feel any closer to the truth. That's probably why I feel this way. I'm feeling this strange feeling that I've never felt before. As if Nagito is trying to make us suffer, even after he's died. Well, now's not the time to think about stupid things like that. I haven't even investigated his cottage yet. Yeah, exactly! Wait, what would happen if I investigated that before coming here? Hmm. Alright, let's go. Interesting. I wonder if it would have been the same thing, just uh, with the words changed around. Like, I haven't even been to Nizumi Castle yet. Huh. Alright. But you know that's where the most important shit is, so let's go. Alright, first island. Tell sight. Man, the fast travel's awesome. And this is some crazy music, too. Ooh, what's this? My pet! Oh? What's up? <gasps> oh. My. God. Oh, she's done? It wants to give you something! <gasps> it's so cute! Menacing Focus, Monocoins, Sentry, Popery. What's Menacing Focus? It's a skill! 
Bye! Bye, Usami! Oh, an achievement. Can we keep him? Halfway there. Halfway there? Does that mean I have to have another bebe? Alright, whatever. That's so cool! I didn't even think- of, I've had Usami there for so long! Man, that's great. I feel- <laughs> that feels like such a good reward! Alright, I can't wait to see what that skill does. <laughs> We're gonna have time to use it soon. Uh, I am on the ladies' side. Oh, this little dick! Oh, and this little something. Who to talk to first? Hajime. Hajime. What's this? Oh my! You want to go inside Nagito's room too? What are you gonna do? I was just listening to Chiaki's request. She wants me to unlock the door to Nagito's cottage because she really needs it for the class trial. She begged me to do it while she was licking my black eye. I didn't do that. I do not think so. You look like a black eye licker if you catch my drift, Chiaki. Then do it! It's sweet because it's made of black bean paste! Hey, we don't have time to mess around. Hurry up and lock the damn door. I guess I have no choice. I gotta do that, right? Oh, right. He's got a crazy password. Yeah, that's what it was. Great. See, I've opened the door. You can freely investigate now. This isn't my first time seeing that. But why does the door open with a spell like that? Maybe the cottage key is computerized. More importantly, let's go inside. Yeah, you're right. Alrighty. Cottage Nagito Komaeda. <gasps> what is that? So Nagito was living here. What was he thinking inside this room? Was he freely spend- was, was, What was he feeling? He's, he spent his days here. I can't imagine. Wanting to see absolute hope, becoming despair so he could act as a stepping stone for the rest of us? No matter how much I think about it, I just don't understand him at all. I don't even know if he truly believed that. It was especially weird these past few days. What changed him? Maybe the clue to that might be hidden here as well! Yes! Okay, obviously there's a treasure- Oh, I see you. Creeping in the bathtub? All right. Give me the monocorns. All righty. Anything else? Nagito's bed. What? Hey, hey. Maybe there's something hidden under his bed. It's a usual hiding place for hiding things. Yeah, like porn. Hajime, watch your language. But well, we should check just in case. With no expectation and without thinking, I peeked under the bed and there's nothing here. I was excited for prawn. It's a plastic bag from the supermarket. Looks like there's something inside. What's this? Mm. A gas mask and rubber gloves. These look like the real deal. Did he get these from the military base? Interesting. He was hiding these under his bed. Hmm. That says something about the warehouse. Hajime. Is there anything else under the bed? Hmm. Once again, started looking. Small piece of paper? Ooh. Huh. Made of blue aluminum. Abluminum. A round thin piece of aluminum, huh? Seals, let go of drawers if I'm open. <laughs> okay. Get for what you're saying, but does that mean this is just a piece of trash? Who knows? Might be too soon to decide. It's too soon to decide. That's gonna be maybe handy later. Watch Nagito just come to the trial. <laughs> he somehow masterminded that whole thing. Refrigerator. There's gotta be your shit in the refrigerator. Nice. My cottage doesn't even have a rich refrigerator. I wonder where he got it from. Probably supplied it himself. Why would he go to the trouble of putting a refrigerator in his room? Does he really enjoy cold drinks? As I talked with Chiaki, I opened the refrigerator door. Refrigerator door. <laughs> Monokuma's special poisoning for poisoning use only. There isn't really much inside. The only thing inside the refrigerator was a brown bottle that had nothing harmless or suspicious inside. Someone who likes cold drinks. It doesn't look like he stocked very much. Okay, so he definitely got that from the octagon. And I wonder if he even could have found his way back to the octagon after. I mean, hmm, maybe. Looks like some kind of dietary supplement to me. Protein powder, maybe? Oh, yeah! Put that in your smoothie! <laughs> Alright, 
and poisoning someone to death? Could it be? Yeah, it looks like it's poison. But poison? <laughs> looks like there's a warning label on the back. Let's examine it in a little more detail. But be careful with the bottle, don't drop it. Stop it. If you worry like that, I'm gonna get nervous. I grabbed the bottle with my trembling hand and began reading the warning label on the back. Hmm. Poison made specifically for killing someone. It's Monokuma's special poison. This enchanted liquid is highly potent and takes effect immediately. Please handle with care. Though its volatility is low, the liquid is very dangerous when vaporized. Ooh. That might be why we had to leave the room. Monokuma probably was would have been like, Holy shit, that poison will kill everyone. We gotta get him out of here. Oh, no. Because he has to prevent people from killing more than, you know, however many people. So this may have been part of the thing. And the smoke in the air. Hmm. In a gaseous state, it's... In a gaseous state, it's heavier than air and breaks down in minutes. And it's injectable, susceptible to hydrolysis, which would explain how the sprinklers dissipated it. So it's possible for you to poison someone to death without any complications. Keep this liquid secure by storing it in a cool place in a glass or plastic container away from sunlight. All right. This sure does look like a chemical made solely for poisoning someone to death. This refrigerator must be here to keep the poison secure. But where did he get something like this? That question could apply to the bomb he used at the hotel too. Apply to the bomb! There should be a reason Nagito was able to obtain such dangerous items. It's like he had special clearance or something for playing a crazy game of Russian roulette! The octagon inside the fun- the, uh, yeah, yeah. The, po the poison. He must have brought it with from him, uh, you know. Perhaps. He was probably hiding them somewhere on his body during the last class trial. He was hiding a bram and poison during the class? <sighs> Jeez, how dangerous. What would he have done if he accidentally tripped and broke the bottle? Well, he's lucky. Don't worry. <laughs> also, he already blew up the bomb he took with him at the lobby. But what about this poison? Hmm? Is it empty? No. It looks like the it looks like the bottle is less than half empty. Was it like this from the was it like this from the beginning? Or did Nagito use it? I'm pretty sure someone used it. Hmm. If so, where? I wonder, I wonder if there's still a trap somewhere that hasn't been sprung yet. I think it did spring, and Monokuma saved everyone. So that almost makes me think it may have been a suicide if he rigged up the whole thing and I don't know. Because also, if he intended it, then his luck would have facilitated it versus saving him. So that's what I'm thinking. But also, whatever. But maybe his luck is really just uh, the fact that hope is going to get, uh, the despair is going to get outed in this next trial, which we know is going to happen because it's the last one. Are there traps? Perhaps he was making some kind of trap using his poison before he died. If that actually exists, this could be. If that actually exists, it could be real bad. It could be potentially kill everyone on this island. Everyone? What the hell? Nagito, are you still trying to make us suffer? Are you still trying to make us suffer even after you've died? Monokuma's special poison has been. Yeah. Hmm. I think that was definitely used in the warehouse, but we shall see. Okay. Oh, bookshelf. Is examinable. Ooh. Can we see it? I doubt he put it. I doubt he put his thing up there. It might take a lot of time for us to thoroughly go through that stuff. Let's just leave it for later. No, we need to go into the folder. We need to find that file. Yeah, I fine, Hajime. All right, let's see what's in the shiny box. A fancy looking treasure box covered in sparkling pink lights totally standing out. Could this be? Treasure yeah, okay, so maybe he stole it from here. That, that treasure box. Jackie, you know about this? Yep. It's really cute. Oh, she was just reacting. Looks like Monami's stolen treasure box. If that's here, that means the thief she, she was talking about was Nagito. But why would he steal this? In order to find out, it might be good to see what's inside. Is it gonna be okay? It looks a little dangerous. 
it might be, but this could be some kind of clue, you know? Damn it, maybe I should have checked this area first, and then I would have been able to see Manomi after this. Frick. Or maybe she's gonna show up in this cutscene. This wasn't important, but Nagito wouldn't have stolen it from Manomi in the first place. As I turned back towards the treasure box, uh, yeah. Side was like, nope. Huh. It's a Manomi notebook. Or a Musami notebook. Oh, what? Yo! She's got a straight up. diary? That's nuts! Contains sloppy drawings if they were drawn by children and entries that looked like chicken scratch. Byakia became the first. Everyone's tired of something things happen. Huh. So cool. <laughs> Bad guy, Monokuma. I was able to talk to everyone for the first time today. Huh. Taiwan, I was able to talk to everyone for the first time today. Monokuma showed up and things turned bad. Day two. Yaki is the leader. A lot of things happened today, so everyone's sorry. Oh, that's what it said. Is this a diary? Yeah. Looks like it. Did Monomi write these? Probably. These pictures and entries totally suit her. I kept flipping through. Get Come on, dude! I don't really understand, but it looks like there aren't any clues here. Right when I was about to give up, my hand suddenly stopped on an entry titled Day 16! Day 16! We've been on the funhouse for three days! Everyone's hungry and on edge! Hajime tried to go into the final dead room today! Probably panicking because they all believe you. Ooh. Hey, hey. Hajime, did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. Tried to go into the final dead room. Stop it! Hey, stop! Don't look at my notebook! Whoa! From out of nowhere, Monami suddenly appeared and took the notebook. Did I try to go into the funhouse? I know Nagito actually did. Did I? So weird. Monami suddenly appeared and took the notebook. I won't forgive you! <sighs> I did ask you to look for my treasure box, but I never said you were allowed to peek inside. Jeez, that was close. Jeez, that was close. If I'd come any later, you would have seen the inside of my notebook. I totally did not see it. <sighs> Unfortunately, you were a little too late. Damn it, Chiaki, blowing up my spot. But if this notebook is here, um, Nagito was the thief. Betrayal! Betrayal! I was betrayed by my love beloved student! Hey, hey! Hey, the notebook. It's pretty much your diary, right? Mm -hmm. The diary? Um... um it, it's you, Zoe! That's right! It's my most important diary! Where all my main secrets are written! Hey! Hey, hey! You're a liar! Huh, you always show up out of nowhere! Monomi, it's not good to lie, you know! Lie? <laughs> There's no way you wrote in that notebook! Yeah. After all, Monomi can't even write! Huh? Hey, Sammy, jeez, I can't write letters easily. I can finally write the letter B. That's wrong! No, you can't, because you have no fingers on your hands. Yeah. Yeah. See? Bullseye! I know, because I'm the same way, too. Hey. Huh? Are you mad? Are you angry that I exposed a weakling like you? Hey, hey! So that's what this is about. You're seriously trying to crush me. What are you saying? There's no way a big brother would ever crush his little sister. Looks... It looks like the time to settle things between us is getting closer every second. Hey, I don't know why you're getting so serious, but is, is what Monokuma said true? Hmm? Yeah? You said you didn't write in that notebook. Is that true? Oh, crap. If so, who wrote um, in it? Well, you know, it's um... Should I put it... Excuse me. Damn it, you stupid! Ah, she totally ran away again. The same pattern as the usual. Looks like it's a waste of time to try to get answers from her. I also need to confirm with the Sonia thing. Still, I really wanted to ask her about that notebook. Well, actually, it might be better that I didn't ask her. Oh? Interesting. Monomi's notebook has been known by Hmm. Our time for investigating is winding down. What? 
Well, we investigated everything, pretty much. Oh, shower room. Some the structure, shower room's over there. Okay, fine. And uh, we looked at everything else, right? Plants. Yeah, I think we looked at basically everything. So the bookshelf last, right? They say a shelf is a mirror that reflects a person's heart. Do they now? Mm. I definitely don't know much about Nagito just by looking at this. Mm. Doesn't mean we should ignore it though. I'll leave it to you then, Hajime. Mm. It's better if a boy goes through another boy's things. You know, there might be private stuff there. Well, that might be true, but... So, I'll leave this shelf to you. Hmm. I feel like I got persuaded to do this without realizing it. Alright. Aside... One by one, I started removing the various books and items and examining each one. But even as I examined them carefully, there were still a bunch of random books and items. There's no way there are any clues here. Oh, there it is! Huh? Yes, yes, yes! Alright, so we got the file! Yeah, yeah, I, I already know what it is, come on! Yeah. Give it to me! Nagito said this only contained information about me, but he lied! Yes! Yes! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on, guy! Come on! Just open it! Stop musing! Yes, it's thick! Two C's! As soon as I opened it, it was clear to me, just as I thought Nagito had lied to me. Uh. Aside from my information, there was information about the others. Kazuichi, Fihiko, Akane, and Sonia. And everyone who had died had pages of information about them, too. The file contained information on all 16 of us! Only my information. My ass! I can't believe he had to make up such a strange lie. So that means the rest of it might be a lie, too! As I turned the pages, continuing my information, and began reading through- <gasps> Yay! Oh, I'm so excited! And you know we're gonna find out what's in here in the next episode. Sorry, but that's the way the cookie crumbles! So, I'm gonna- Leave this here, so thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like this video if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Smack the bell so you never miss a thing. Consider supporting me on Patreon. And I'll uh, thank you, Blade Across, for supporting me on Patreon. And I'll see you all in the next one. For now, this is Dave out. Peace out.